Good evening, keyboard aficionados. Tonight I have something to share. It's been a while since I posted a video, and I wanted to show you something that I'm excited to build soon, and maybe you can get excited too, and join me for the build stream. It's something that came in the mail today. Something I've been waiting for for a while. Ugh, it's something heavy. It's a Kepler, and it comes in this really nice Pelican case. So, I took the liberty of removing the zip ties before the video started. It had a zip tie in these two locations where you could normally lock the case. So I took those off because they're a little bit tricky. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So for starters, we've got the top. This is anodized aluminum. It looks nice. It looks like a good finish. I'll have to check it more thoroughly later. Um, actually, we can, we can go ahead and take a look at it now. Let's see how that finish looks. Wow, it looks, it looks good. I, I don't see any blemishes or anything. It looks really nice. Beautiful. Let me just do one thing real quick before we proceed. Let me turn off the there. Turn off the auto exposure so that we won't get the picture getting brighter and darker. So that's pretty nice. Let's make sure I got the focus here. Good enough. Beautiful. Oh, should we look at the back side? Eh, the back side's not perfect, but that's okay. Nobody looks at the back side, really. See, in the corner here, there's a little... Anyway, who cares about that? The top looks perfect. And the sides, the front and everything. Looks nice. Just put that out of the way. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and put on some gloves for the next part. Because I'm going to be handling some PVD coated brass here. Oops. Let's see. Here. Got this nice microfiber ra Ugh. microfiber rag. Here's the limo cable. That's cool. Made by Zap. Zap cables. Here's the little, the little pigtail that goes to the daughter board. I mean, not daughter board, but the PCB. So there's a little connector here. So you can easily switch plates and PCBs. Put that out of the way. Now here's the heavy part. Oh man, this is big. This is the bottom, and it's PVD coated brass. So it's heavy, like, like if I have to hold this with one hand, it's it's actually difficult to just hold it with one hand. It's like, oh, I can, I can feel how heavy it is. It's really substantial. Wow. So let's take a look here. So the inside, I can already tell the inside finish isn't perfect, and, you know, that's okay. Let's see what the back side looks like, though. You know, the inside isn't the part you're going to look at, so it's not the part you're going to show off once it's built. So how does the back side look? The back side looks nice. See, I can see the reflection of my camera. <laughs> Very beautiful. Beautiful black, shiny. It's kind of like, kind of like a piano black, you know. That's cool. And then, so the idea is you, I guess the idea is you uh, can polish her up with your 
nice microfiber rag that they that they provided with it. You can, you know, polish off any little smudges that are on there. That's great. So it looks very nice, very heavy, much anticipated keyboard. It'll be fun to build it and use it. Very heavy. There's the there's where the Limo connector goes in. It's pretty cool looking. You know the fact that this is all brass is pretty fun. I mean, it's really I can't overstate how heavy it feels for a relatively small part. You know, this is just the base of the keyboard and it's so heavy by itself. Let me just put that out of the way for a minute. And you know, the other stuff is just uh, not as exciting, but down here, I'm gonna obviously need some parts to build this thing. So that's what's in here, I guess. You got your Signature signature 87 PCB. I haven't looked at these yet So it looks like a pretty that's got a reset button right there. It's got a switch right here It's got your little connector right there that goes to your limo plug on the keyboard looks nice Very very pretty you know, simple, nice. What kind of microcontroller? Oh yeah, looks like Atmega 32U4 probably. Cool. So I got an extra one of those. So what I did is I ordered the standard all black option, which came with the black plate and one PCB. And then I ordered a second PCB and a second plate so that I could experiment and decide which one I like better. So I could put some uh, some switches that sound one way in one plate and some different switches in the other plate and decide which one I thought was going to be my favorite to keep in the keyboard. So here's the gaskets. Now I think the way these work is I think you've got one that goes on top of the plate and one that goes under the plate and one that goes around the sides of the plate. I think that's how it works. But, you know, I'll obviously want to read the directions when I build this. Looks like these have some kind of a coating on them, maybe? Yeah, I think they do. I don't know if they're self-adhesive or, or what, but I feel like they've got a plastic coating on them. Yeah, they do. So, do they stick together? They must. So anyway, I'll figure that out when I build it. Those are the gaskets. Probably don't need too much protection here, but I appreciate the packing job. It's it's everything arrived in good condition without damage. So kudos on that. So here's my standard option plate. It's uh, black. It's nice and shiny. Beautiful. So that's the standard plate, and I got the black option. Beautiful. I got regular TKL, not not WKL, not Win Keyless, or I don't remember if there were any other options. Because I like the standard TKL layout, the one with the Win Key. So that's what I like. And then I thought this would be fun. I also got a palm plate. So this I thought would be interesting to combine with some switches that have kind of a mellow sound and the palm would give them an even more of mellow sound and the gasket mount would make it even more mellow and you know all together it seems like it would be a really cool combination so we'll see we'll have to try them and see which one ends up being my favorite whether whether i like the it's fun how flexible these palm plates are really it'll be interesting to see which plate and switch combination ends up being my favorite and which one I end up using long term and you know since you got that nice little connector it's really not hard to switch plates at least I think in theory I haven't tried it yet but 
seems like it wouldn't be hard to switch plates and uh, go back and forth if you were so inclined. So, I think this went like that, and this went up here. Yeah, like that. And then there was one more piece. So, hopefully you'll tune in when I build this thing. And I guess I'll be building, almost like building it twice, because I'll be doing it with one kind of switch for one plate, and another kind of switch with the other plate. Oof. It's a big heavy thing. <laughs> it's funny because it's deceptively small, but I mean, heavy, even though it's small. Just put a little extra padding in here just to be safe. And then the rag it came with. And I'll be streaming this build on Twitch and then I'll post the video on YouTube. So, either way, if you want to tune in, please do. And that just fits right there. Nice tidy package. Uh, yeah. Well, that'll be super fun to build. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.